Hi everyone, it is Elmer, and in today's video, I will be doing a full review on the Holystone HS110D drone that I got off Amazon about two months ago. So first off, that's the box it comes in. Then we have the drone. Two batteries, one of them's right here, other one is in the drone right now. Six propeller guards, so that you can have four on the drone and two spares. Spare set of landing gear, in case the one already on the drone breaks. Controller with a camera mount. Four spare propellers, spare screws. Two spare light guards for the LED lights on the drone. And a manual. So first off, we'll start with the controller. As you can see, we have the camera mount on it and the on-off button right here. Right here is the engine start and landing button that you press to start the propellers before takeoff. This is the resync button right here, so you press and hold that for two seconds. It resyncs the drone in case something's not working right. Right here we have the speed up and the speed down. So this drone is equipped with five speed modes. I'll show you real quick. Right now they're all lit up, but when the drone is actually connected, when you first connect the drone, it'll by, be in, in, by default speed mode 2, and the first two will be lit up. Then if you press this, it goes to 3, first 3, and if you press that, it goes to 4. Then if you press it a fifth time, the fourth will be flashing, and then you're in the fifth. And then right here is the throttle, so once you start the propellers, you have to throttle up to take off. So you throttle up, that makes the drone fly up. If you just leave it normal, the drone hovers. Down makes the drone go down. Left makes the drone spin to the left, and right makes it spin to the right. And these are the directions, forward, backward, left, right, all that. Then we have trim buttons right here. This is the switch for null, which I have no idea what that is. And this is for headless mode. And I think what headless mode is, is you turn the drone facing a direction, and then no matter what, the forward, pushing forwards on the direction joystick will always make the drone go in that direction, I think. Here we have the flips button. You press that and then move this in any direction. It will do a flip in that way. And we have the photo and video button. So you press it to take a photo, long press it to take a video. So that's the controller. Now I'll show you the drone. So you can see we have all the propellers and they should all spin. Give them a little flick. If they don't spin, that was against the box. If they don't spin, then there's something in the motor. On the bottom here, you can see we have our camera, which is a fixed gimbal, on off button, and charging button. And this drone has to charge the batteries through the drone. So to charge them, you have to put it in the drone and then plug the charger in, which is kind of annoying. I'll show you all the charger right now. So this is the charger. As you can see, that end plugs into the drone, and then the other end is USB. Plugs into any standard USB on your computer or anything. And we have the extra battery with these two clips, and the contacts, which the power is transferred through. Like I said before, we have these propeller guards, and they go on if you turn them the right way. There's three little snaps, and then there's three holes on the edge of the motor. They just snap in like that. You put all four on and then they protect the propellers. And then we have the manual. Like I already said it has a battery cautions and it has very extensive instructions on how to use the drone. And then we have all the spare parts. Just some of them out. So you can see we have four spare propellers. We have a screwdriver, and we have a little bag right here that's wrapped around these two propellers. Oh no, those are, yeah. We have this little bag right here, spare screws. So, now I'll show you all how to hook up the drone. So first thing you gotta do, turn the drone upside down, and press and hold on the power button till the LEDs come on. And if you don't have the controller settings, it'll start blinking red. And then you press the on button on the controller, and then move the throttle joystick up and down. And then it syncs the drone. And now I'll show you how I get the camera map or the camera feed hooked up. So as you can see, you just go into your phone's Wi-Fi settings, 
And once the drone is turned on, it should come up as a Wi-Fi network. So then you just have to join that and then go to the Holy Stone app. So it should look like this when you first come into it. If you don't have the app, just go onto the App Store or Play Store and don't and just search Holy Stone and then that'll take you to the app. Then you click controls and live video feed from the drone and directly to your phone. So then when you have this hooked up, when you take photos or videos, they will automatically connect to your phone. And if you click in the top left, there's that little controller button. If you click that, it shows you some controls. Some of them are for different drones, but for this one, you can click the photo button. It's a little camera on the right side of the screen to take a photo and click the video camera when to take a video. But before you take a video, you can turn on the microphone, which is in the bottom right underneath the video. And then when you're taking a video, it'll be the footage from the drone, but the sound will record from your phone's microphone. So I'll use that multiple times when I'm showing you all how this thing flies. So that's how you hook up the camera app. Now I'm going to show you how it flies. So we got the drone all set up on top of its box here. We have Vanessa riding her horse, Tessa. And I'll show you all how it flies and take some videos of Vanessa riding her horse. So press the engine start button, lift up on the throttle, and you're in the air. Turned up the speed mode five so it's easier to control. I'll go up a little bit higher and show you all the flipping feature. As you can see, it does flips in all directions. And I really like those lights on it. It makes it quite easy to see, especially when it's getting a little bit darker out. So now I'm gonna switch over to the drone's camera feed. All right, we are now live from the drone. As you can see, we have Vanessa setting up some Tessa jumps over there. And then we have me standing in the middle of a dried up slough. Let's bring the drone back a little bit closer. The big downside of this drone though is, like I already said, it has a fixed gimbal. So when the drone tilts, it tilts as well. So when I'm making corrections in the flight, it, or the footage gets quite shaky. That over there so that we can see what Vanessa's doing. So this ended up being the only jump that we got to record. There was one that was way better, but something happened and it didn't record for some reason. But I'm still quite happy with this one and I think Vanessa is too. Show it once more. You see Tessa jumping over it. And then this one, um, Vanessa galloped along bareback and I just chased her with my drone. We had to do this going with the wind so that the drone could keep up. Otherwise it wouldn't have. And then in this one, she, or I showed her from the side and then she just ran away and I couldn't keep up because this was going into the wind and the drone's wind resistance isn't great. And then these are two silhouette photos that I took of just her on her horse against the background. So that was all the stuff that we did with Vanessa, but now I'm going to show a whole bunch of other clips, photos, and videos that I've taken with this drone.
I finish this video is that Holy Stone's customer support is fantastic. As you might have noticed earlier in the video, there's another drone sitting right there. And so why that one's there is because I got that one, but it wouldn't work properly. The batteries only lasted for five minutes each when they should be lasting for over 10 minutes each. So I contacted Holy Stone and they sent me a new one and let me keep the old one for spare parts. So just the way they handled that I thought was really good and so just their customer support is fantastic. So if something's not working right, you might be able to get it fixed. So for that, I'd just like to say that I really like this drone and I recommend it. I would give it a four star rating out of five. And that's only because of the wind resistance. If it had really good wind resistance, I'd give it five out of five. So, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.